Hey guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, and welcome back to Mother One. In the last episode, we lost our dear friend who we just met five minutes ago. But it's not that different from losing a friend that you've never met. Or does that even make any sense? I don't know. It's just one of those things, you know, you have to... You have to think. Think long and hard. We have a rope. And we have whatever's left in here. Oh, Juana. And super energy. I think I'm just gonna probably... Well... Yeah, we don't have Eve anymore, so it's like, <laughs> uh, do I really want to risk my life here? I suppose I do. Wait, I suppose I did. Well, if I did, that would mean no, I don't want to risk my life. Holy crap. Defense by 232? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I stayed out of that. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so, um, do I even dare tell you what just happened? I don't know if I should. Basically, Emil just came in here and whispered in my ear and said, She had nipples in the Japanese version. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't even. No, I just can't. That's, that's not fair. It really isn't. Mmm, let's just freeze. Yeah, you dodged that attack. It doesn't even matter anyway, because... Uh, uh, what is in my teeth, dude? Oh my god. It's like I was trying to talk, and there was like an onion in my tooth. A whole onion. Unsliced. Yes, super bomb. I didn't know those existed. Um... Just, just keep going. Wow, so she had nipples in the Japanese version. Beautiful. Gigaborga. Gigaborg. Once again. I don't know. I think we should just take him out. I changed my mind. I'm taking him out. And we know the beam is not going to work, so I'm going to do that to you, and you attack him. My attack's not too bad, actually. Like, 52? I mean, shoot, dude. Oh, beam alpha. Yeah, because they're just using beam alphas. Like, it's not a big deal. It doesn't hurt that much. It's just a little scratch. You, on the other hand, sir, are going to be experiencing pain of the most infuriating type ever. Yeah. Here's the thing, I keep thinking I still have Teddy, so I can just fight, fight, fight. You know, but it's like, no, I have to actually re flamethrower if I want Teddy. It's like an all-attacking Teddy, basically. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. When the screen flashed, I thought it was a smash. Like, I've kind of conditioned myself to think of a splashing screen means smash. Hmm. And I just missed. Okay, I don't, I don't know what happened there. Why did I go silent there just now? Man, I was just thinking about that nipples thing again. Like, seriously, the, the title of this video is going to have to be Nipples. It seriously will. Because that's all I can even make sense of anymore. Rope? Hmm. Are we okay? Uh, yeah, we're, like, just barely under here. Oh, okay, I'm back. I just healed up with, um, Healing Alpha and I- or Healing Alpha, you know, Life Up Alpha. And I used some PSI stones, too, to get some of my PP back. It's nothing like going into this with a full bladder, right? Whatever this is. Who are you talking to? Oh, hello. You just... He's, he's singing Pollyanna. NTS, welcome. I always believed that you would find your way here. Your great-grandmother Maria's love was scattered. Scattered in the form of melodies. I have a melody for you. Oh, it's like in Earthbound, the last piece is just duh, you know, the final note, the final resolved chord. Most great songs end with a nice resolved chord. Like No One Else by Weezer. The crystal fragments that had broken off stopped glowing and disappeared. Oh, that was, that was the narrator. Oh, man. Was that like my grandpa? My grandpapa. Wait, here, let me check it again. Oh, okay, it just does the same thing again. Alright. Welcome! Why are you talking to me again? I already told you the story. Why do you keep doing this to me? Actually, now that I now that I reread that, did he say your great-grandmother? So would that be his mother? Well, the game is called Mother, so maybe. Uh-oh. Um, am I gonna be able to do this? Uh, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Oh, jeez. Huh. Yeah, I don't think there's much else we can do about that, so I guess now we just have to go back and take the melodies to What's-Her-Face? 
I say what's her face. I'm a terrible person, you know. Yep, yeah, here we go. It's better than teleporting, so I don't know how far you get with teleporting in this place. Man, feels like forever since we've been here. Alright, so last minute checks here. Let me turn this down a little bit here. Oh, uh, yes. I'm the mysterious goods keeper. I'm the mighty tiki god. Let's see. Well, first let's leave what we don't need. Which includes probably that. I'm never gonna use that. Too bad, really, because it had potential, I'm sure. I guess I don't need the H2O pendant either. Yeah. Um, I just want to keep what else. Do I need the onyx hook anymore? <laughs> I don't know. I guess you don't need the plasma beams and get rid of that. Is there anything else you want to... Uh, no, I think I'm probably good now. I can give you my cash card, you know? <laughs> I mean, at this point, I don't know if I even need that. Be careful. Okay, so let me do something while I have the chance to here. Yep, that was it. Did you hear it? I totally did. Okay, well... Okay, one other thing I'm gonna do, it's kind of a... Mm, wait, let me see. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, let me just check, check real quick here and make sure there's nothing else I want to, like, take out here. Well, flamethrower, probably. At least one more for that. Don't know if we're gonna need it, but... No, we'll find out here. Let's see. I have ticket stubs in here. You know, I have the ghost key. Survival knife? I never did use that. Huh. Mmm, no. You know what, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna take off a super bomb. what the hell. You never know, I, and it just, the thought of never using it just makes me sad for some reason. I don't know when I actually will use it, but... Oh, there was one other thing. Wait. I wanted to take this back out and give it to myself. Because I want to give the sea pendant to Pamela instead, because now she doesn't have a Franklin badge, so I want to have us all, like... You know, at least outfitted with something, rather than giving it all to Lloyd here, you know, so... If I just use this, I equip that. Then I can do this, and give it to you. And then, go to you, and use it. There we go. I never did check to see if that, like, raised your defense, but... But basically, it's like half damage from all PSI, like, dude. Who would... Like, how can you anybody pass that up? Wait, am I at the wrong set of buildings here? I think I am. Yeah, I actually am. <laughs> this is the one we want. I feel so well. Wait, well, you are fine once again. Alright, everybody's full here. Wait, is that all the PP? No, she can carry more PP than that. I guess it doesn't carry your PP, or it doesn't reheal it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's okay, because I have this thing here. Mm hmm. Okay, we're all done there. I used the PSI stone to fix up all her stuff. So I think we're pretty much good there. So now we just need to head to the Grand Pumba here. The Grand Palace, that is. See you later! Alright, it's gonna let me through this time. You're not gonna make me telepathy you? Uh, ever since the first time I came in this place, I knew this was important. Didn't really know why, but I guess we do now. Man. Not sure if I'm going to the right room, actually. I wonder if all those presents I never opened are still in here. <laughs> you know. Oh, well, they all opened. I guess you just one shot at a prize there. Whatever you get is what you get. And a curb. <laughs> yeah. We desperately needed that. <laughs> okay, I'm done with opening presents now. I want to go see the queen. We need to make this happen, man. Whoa, hello. The queen isn't feeling very well. Well, maybe we can make her feel better with, uh, a certain something-something, if you know what I'm saying. And I don't mean that. Please sing to me the melodies that you have learned. This is kind of weird, because I thought this is what you did on the final boss. So is the final boss, like, an actual fight? Or, uh... <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out in a second here. Maybe you have to sing it to him, too. It's like, I know the final fight is basically Gygus, but... Or like Gigway or Gigagas or something. 
He's gonna have gas, I'll tell you. Yes, that's right. That is the song. And now she can sing it. That's cool. Oh my gosh. I loved him. That's like a really twisted way of saying George. It's like reading George in a different language. Or George with like, binary code strapped all over it. I loved him, as if he was my own child. Oh, also I think it is your great-grandfather, so like their husband and wife, not, not that she's his mother. He was always wagging his tail just like a pup. Wait, what? Except for when I tried to sing him lullabies. Oh, George, this is your wife Maria. I'm coming to join you. My purpose is complete. Wait a minute. Oh, gosh. After telling the story to NCS, with a rush of wind, Queen Mary vanished. As she disappeared, so did Magicant. Magicant was a mirage. A mirage born of Maria's consciousness. Jeez. Are there, like, theory videos about this? Because I know it's, like, born of Ness's consciousness in Earthbound. But it makes you wonder, like, if that's not a thing, if that's not, like, one of the greatest superpowers to, to just to make a place that you can, like, go to physically. And, like, well, I would say, like, maybe to escape to, you know, because you were just so distraught over your own emotions that you had to make a world for yourself and just live there. You know, and maybe out in the real world you're just catatonic or something. It's kind of weird to think about. I don't know. I don't I don't know anything. I'm just making shit up off the top of my head. What would I know? We can go in here now, though. Oh. Uh, Jeez, I'm at 15 minutes. I don't know how much of this... Do I really want to cliffhang it here? There's like an opening here. Um, is this the way home? Oh gosh, wait! There's not supposed to be this here! No problem! No, it's just a guy in a tube that probably can't breathe. No problem whatsoever. Holy crap, there's like people in here. That looks like poo down there. And it looks like the zombie, uh, the female zombie that attacks uh, Duster and Mother 3. That's what that one looks like. And then over here we have square clothes, square pants. And lastly, mm, there's an NPC in Earthbound that kind of looks like that guy. No, I, I don't think... Oh god, wait, what? It's like monsters in here. Omega Borg! How many more of these jackasses can there be, man? Hey, we need something to fill out the rest of the video here. So I kind of like to save the final boss to be its own video. I did not realize I was up to 15 minutes already. Hey, what have I been doing all this time? I guess doing cutscenes and stuff, but like, you know... Back in the day, we didn't have cutscenes. That wasn't a thing until Final Fantasy came out, though. No, I guess it is now. <laughs> no, I'm sure there were some. Like, back in the day when I played Mega Man 3, I remember being... Like, my mind was blown by the amount of story that was in that game. And what's weird is half of the story wasn't even in the game at all. It was in the instruction manual. And it was, like, just crazy. So did that freeze, like, not do anything or what? Or did I use the wrong spell? Well, I haven't been paying attention here. <laughs> oh, now he's doing that. Oh, thank God. Yeah, okay, he's critical now, so, uh... Oh, and now he's dodging. Yeah, that's a wonderful time to do that, sir. Oh, I gotta get one last attack before you go! Wait a minute, but I was the one that had the... spell. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yup, we're definitely gonna have to stop the video here. Uh, there's no way I'm going to the final boss dead, with myself dead. Oh, look who's in the front of the party now. Hey, I wonder if there's a bunch of hidden dialogue you can get with Pamela as the lead. I gotta get out of this room. I gotta do something. Oh my gosh. I don't suppose she has... Oh, she does. She does have it. Wait, no, but don't... Okay, please tell me that didn't use PSI. 
I was trying to use it on myself because I thought I was still at the top of the list. <laughs> Man, thank God they give you this. Jeez. That's really nice of them to give it to two different people in the party. So I gotta tell you. I used up a bunch of her PP. But I'm actually wondering, like, how much PP... I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to do it on her. No, no, do it on me! Yeah, wow. Okay, um... Now that we got that fixed up, yeah, I'm actually gonna stop there. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know, man. There's nothing like a really shitty cliffhanger, and when you're cliffhanging for the finale, man, I tell you. Anyway, see you guys later.